Hello there everyone, it's Kathy with Paper Phenomenon and I'm here with Moving Parts Page Folio Minis Style 4. So here is the original Style 4, here is the Minis 11 by 11, 8 by 8. So absolutely gorgeous. This paper collection is Darling Fairy Tales and it is in my shop right now available 50% off. So this is this one is part of the National Scrapbook Day. The original size is part of the National Scrapbook Day uh, event that we did. If you took that workshop, the original size is in there. Now these minis are available uh, as a separate purchase in the description box below. Also, fifty percent off. Look at the back, how gorgeous! Just really beautiful. And here I put a little dangle. All right, so let's open this up. Look at this. Look at how gorgeous this is, my friends. There is just so much to see here. So much to see. All right, so modeled after the original version. This one, I did it up with a little bit more embellishing. When I made the original version, uh, I did... Uh, it was prim primarily for the photographs here. Yes, you can put four by six photos and you're going to see how many you can get in here. It is astonishing in this tiny little package. All right. So first thing is first, this opens up right here. This is a removable photo mat here. Open that up for four by six, four by six, four by six, four by four, four by four. Four by six, four by six, two three by threes, and dare I show show you more? Dare I show you more? I thought I had photo mats cut already. I do, but I don't know where I put them. Look, four by sixes. All right, four by sixes. I can't get it in there. I gotta fix that. Hold on. Ah, there it is. Four by six. See, there's space. You can fit a few of those in there. So how amazing is this? Magnetized, magnetized. Look at this side, my friends. This is a removable photo mat. Look at how beautiful that is, front and back. This is a removable photo mat with that third balloon there. And here we have a tag that has the butterfly. All right, so let's put this all back so it can be beautiful. And then this one gets right in here in the signature cut. This entire flap opens up. Look at how beautiful that is. I hope that you love this. I am just over the moon with this. To reveal room for photos. Photo, photo, photo. You can put photo here, but I made a little slit for a little tuck. Then you have this. This opens up. Photo, photo. You can put a four by six photo here, but I left it just like that. You can do a tuck, smaller photo. This is where you do the four by six so that you can have this fantastic look right here. Okay, so four by sixes, four by six, two smaller uh, two by twos, a little spot for journaling if you wanted, a pocket card. So this was all printed at eight by eight embellishments and paper. The pocket cards, however, were printed at 12 by 12. If you print them at eight by eight, they'll be a little smaller which would be better because the scale for the sentiments would be better. I would have used more of them if I printed them by eight by eight, eight by eight, but I did not. So here we've got some candies, a flower, just some little fun things to tuck right in here. There's the macaron and right there, look at that, how gorgeous. And if you thought that this was enough, this is also magnetized. It is not enough, my friends. It is not. Look at this. We've got two large acetate pockets right here. This one is magnetized. This one is also magnetized. You can fit four by six photos, multiple photos in this pocket. All right. Then if you, this is why uh, there's a new cutting guide because because these pockets here, a lot of the things are not as assembled exactly the same way. All right, it's modeled after the large one, but not assembled exactly the same way. So 
leave to get four by sixes in here doesn't fit, doesn't jive. But the way I assemble these pockets, my friends, it jives. All right, so you can do here's a four by six, four by six. Here is a four by six. All right, you can fit four by sixes in these pockets. Then this closes up like so. Look at the matting, how beautiful. I don't put photo mats because I like you to see the matting, right? This is about showing off this matting. In the process videos in the project folder, you, I, there's step-by-step -step videos on the matting. Not, I did not speed anything up. It is step-by-step-by-step. -by -step -by -step. Uh, I'm finally honing in on my, that, on my matting videos. This closes up to this tidy, tidy little package here. This closes up and look at this. Look at this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous piece that you have here. Now this is style four. There are styles one through seven that I'm revealing every single day up until number seven. And then guess what? We're gonna have a set from eight through 12 because I want you to have a year in review. Eight through 12 will be brand new releases uh, coming up after I finish the seven. So here is style one. It is gorgeous. This is featuring the Celestial Collection. And it opens up, you know, you have all sorts of goodness in there. You can watch the videos on these. Uh, this is Style 2. Look, at this is featuring my Showtime Collection. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I have to say, I just love this one. And everything opens up, my friends. Everything is moving parts. And this is Style Three, which is featuring the dragons and castles collection so look at this one how stunning is this and of course it opens up beautifully so look at these two this is what I want to show you my goodness look at these two collections how I want to show off this little guy here who reminds me of my little nephew Kanan look at these two how gorgeous is this all right, so hopefully you love it. Let me know your thoughts. I always love to know what you think about these projects, if you're making them, if you're using the same paper. Your purchase options are in the description box below. I hope you love it. This is Kathy with Paper Phenomenon, and I'll see you tomorrow with another release, Style 5.